Hey everybody, I'm here on a cold Saturday. I forgot what day of the week it is. That's what, that's how it is right now. Cold Saturday afternoon. Um, and I was like, what I want to drink. Uh, there's really only one, this is what I am the most excited about in the warehouse right now. Cantina Marlina Sichele Draconico. So this is a white Sicilian wine. Um, Great variety is Griconico. Uh, it comes from down, this is from down in the southeast of Sicily. This is from the province of Syracusa, down by obviously the city of Syracuse. Um, relatively close to, I don't remember that, what that sea is called now. Is that the Tyrrhenian Sea? It might be the Tyrrhenian Sea there. Um, anyway, close to the coast. Um, it is a relatively large family estate, so it's land, it's 60 hectares, which uh, it's actually, it's about, it's like 148, just about 150 acres, uh, purchased by Angelo Paterno about 25 years ago. Um, he was a professional winemaker. He like did winemaking for a bunch of um, other wineries in, in the area on Sicily. Um, he has since handed off to his daughters Marlena and Federica. Um, they farm organically. They farm very naturally. Um, it's they farm organically, but beyond that, like half of their land is devoted to like polyculture and stuff like that to really, really, really um, preserve the health and diversity of the environment. Um, so then, only half is planted to grape varieties. And they grow a really wide variety of different grapes. Like they grow all kinds of Sicilian varietals, like Nerodavola and Frappato and stuff like that. Um, but uh, Cotterado, Cotterado, I think, and um, Moscatel. Uh, no, uh, Zivibo. Anyway, uh, they also grow some international varieties. I think there were some things that were already planted there. I know they have Viognier that they make a really cool pet nat from. There's there's a lot of neat stuff. Uh, anyway, I have always loved this wine since I first got my hands on it. Um, so it's Graconico. It's, uh, the soil is very limestone rich. This whole area here, most of the land is on like a large hill. Um, most of like this whole area used to be under the water, I don't know, 25 million years ago, 30 million years ago, something like that. So um, uh, it's a lot of like old sedimentary like oceanic deposits there's a lot of limestone here in the soil um good exposure uh this is hand harvested grapes they're harvested and then they get a 13 hour maceration so it has some skin contact but not a ton uh ferments with indigenous yeast in i want to say it was cement and then it is aged for six months before release so like look at the it has color there but that's not you know it's not orange orange wine it's not like super dark dense cloudy wine um oh god that smells so good it is crazy to smell this right now on like this really cold like sort of crisp gray winter day here in Maine to be drinking this wine that smells like Sicily. Oh my God, that is so good. It is like ripe, ripe, like tropical, like, like ripe, ripe orange, like not, not blood orange, not Sicilian blood orange, but just like really, really ripe, ripe, like freshly squeezed Sicilian orange juice. It's a little bit more aromatic than that though. Like there's a little bit of a hint of like, I don't know, like lilac and pineapple there too. It just smells so sunny and alive and giving and warm in a like really nice Sicilian way, not in like an alcoholic warm way, just in like, it smells like it came from a very sunny, rich, rich environment. Oh God, this is killing me to smell this right now. God damn it. Oh, Sicily. So good.
Oh my god. Oh, it is great on the palate. It has that fruit. It has the like richness that you expect. Ooh, the finish is really nice. There's like a stone fruit, like, ooh yeah, apricot and peach, like meatiness that comes back with lingers after the finish. But there's salt and brine in there in the middle too. It's this cool dichotomy of like tropical, ripe, sunny, like Sicilian environment, you know, fruit, orange juice and stuff. But then also like salty, briny minerality, like the smell of the sea and like the taste of the rocks there and stuff in the mid palate of this. Oh, this is so good. This is better than last year's vintage too. Last year's vintage was good, but this is, this is fantastic. And it's just killing me to drink this and think about Sicily and like it's been, it's been over a year since I was there. I know, geez, I'm really suffering, but uh, I was there in autumn of 2019 and God damn it, Sicily, one of the coolest places on earth that I've been anyway, that I can think of. So uh, I'm gonna go drink this and enjoy it and write about it and post pictures of it and just go tell people how much I love this freaking wine and Sicily. Um, it's not expensive. You can find this for probably under $20. The only problem here, the only downside is that I could only get 10 cases of it. That's how this is. That's usually like when something is just a really, really good deal, usually it's hard to get. And that's the situation here. But um, I have it in stock right now. It's out in the marketplace. I have a little bit more. I'll post stuff about where to find it. It's lovely. Go get it. Have a lovely 